Hey there Magic players, welcome back to another fun-filled game of Commander on the High Powered Hobby YouTube channel. Today is an extension of our spooky Halloween episode from last week. This time, no arch enemy. But unfortunately, it's only a three-player game. Joe's beautiful baby girl was hanging out with us during the game, so Dylan stepped out so he can look after her. You might even hear her a couple of times during the recording. I'll let the players introduce their decks. Uh, this is the Swarm Weaver, mainly spiders and insects, and trying to get the Death Touch. Still my favorite. Okay. For the Delirium? Yeah, for the Delirium. I'm hoping to miracle out some curses. Arch Enemy game was really brutal. Uh, so I want to see if it can uh, <laughs> if it can handle being against multiple opponents. Uh, we'll see how it does. Yeah, this, that thing, just saw that thing happen. It was nasty when you're its only opponent. <laughs> um, I'm going to play Marina Vendel again. This is a Haunted House deck. It's uh, all the rooms and door uh, from Dusk Morn and all the eerie creatures with the eerie mechanic. It's, it's pretty neat. It's pretty nice. See how it works. I really stuff. want to see it pop up. Yeah, I really yeah. do. Uh, we'll hopefully, works, I don't so. get an overwhelming splendor put on you again. That, <laughs> you know, and the thing was, I also didn't draw any answers that whole game, and there are some, you know. So we'll see if it works better this time. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Uh, I'll start with this one. I hope has. Right. Draw a card. Play a Temple of Deceit. Scrying one. That will stay on top. Arrakis Carnival. Uh, we'll pass turn. Oh, play a forest. Green for a liquid spider. Death touch. 1-1. One, one. Whenever it attacks, target legendary creature you control gets death touch until it returns. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass. Untap. Spider. Drawing card. Playing a fetid pools tap and passing the turn. Untap. Chilling. Chilling. I will play island. Tap. One blue. I will play an underwater tunnel. Uh, that's blue. When you unlock this door, surveil to. We'll leave them like that. We'll pass the turn. Ah! Game. <laughs> Get the background. Oh. Play forest. How about no? How about no? <laughs> uh, green and two four scoops. One. Ooh, and spicy. Kill it. Ooh, fire. Let's fire. Oh. I'll pass. You don't want to attack me? You're, was, you're afraid was, of my curse. I was thinking about it, Untap. but... Draw a card. I'm going to play a deserted beach. Uh, enters about Bill Tap, unless I control two or more other lands. What'd you look at? Tapping for three. Commander's here. Um, at your end step, I will ah! tap for a white, and I will cast an enlightened two. On um, the step. I will <laughs> search my library for an artifact or enchantment. I will look ah! for an inquisitive glimmer, and I will put oh, nice. it on the... And then uh, we'll go to my turn, untap, up the draw, play a razor tap, gorge, tapped, tap one blue, tap one white, and I will play that inquisitive glimmer. I will uh, pass the turn. Play a labyrinth of Scophos, making a 1-1. One, one. I will tap a black and 1 for demonic tutor. Nice. Um, I think I'm just going to go for... You don't, you don't have to tell. That's right. <laughs> well, that's, that's fair. <laughs> that's why that one's so good. But I am going to tap one and play a soul ring. How dare you. Yeah. Then I think I'll pass. I'm no, jacking you again. I'm going to be playing a Sky Cloud Expanse as land for turn. And then uh, to make sure that Sky doesn't attack me, we're going to pay five. And we're going to play a Sphere of Safety. We're playing a very different game. This Ooh. Time. <laughs> Uh, creatures can't attack me or planeswalkers I control uh, unless a player pays X for each of those creatures or X is the number of enchantments I control, which is currently one. Interesting. That's the turn. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, one, two, and three. Cramped vents. Uh, when you unlock this door, it deals six damage to target creature and opponent controls. I gain life equal to the excess damage dealt this way. That's awesome. I'll deal one to your scoot swarm and gain five life. That's sweet. All right. I have great use of that. Um, I will, it cost one less. I paid three because of the, yeah. uh, the glimmer here. Um, now I will go combat. Those are both one ones. What's death touch? And you have to pay one to attack me. I do. I don't. That's. Yeah, I don't have the one. So. Uh, or you don't death touch. It is death touch. I do not have to. I do not want to lose the death touch. So I will pass the turn to you. Oh. 
Well, I'll play this uh, Valkabox layer, tap saying black. Mm -hmm. Black, green, and two for my commander, making two of these little flying bugs. Uh, if I have four or more different uh, card types in my graveyard, I have Delirium, which gives all of my insects and spiders death touch and 1-1. One, one. Um, yeah, I will a attack too. you with a 1-1. Uh, one, one, uh, <coughs> one. One. Uh, one for each creature. Okay. Just one? Just one. All right. J just for one damage? Yeah, just for one. I will take one. I attack this turn. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Task. Drawing card. I will be playing a Myriad Landscape as my next turn. Then I will be paying four mana, uh, another one, for Hamanatu. She be here, yo. Um, two four at the beginning of my upkeep, surveil two. Each enchantment card in my hand has a miracle. This miracle cost is equal to the mana cost reduced by four. Um, and that's the turn. All right. Upkeep draw. I am again going to miss a land drop, which is really unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> one, like two, three. I should. <laughs> I will just play a cloud key, naming enchantments, and then I'll pass turn. Right. So it reduces them all by one two. So I'll tap this for the black. One, two, three. For a crypt guest. So I tap this for two black. Uh, one of the black, I'm going to cast Villagerites, sacrificing this token to draw two cards. Play a Death Blade or Death Cap Blade for my land. It gets an untap because I have two or more other lands. Uh, the other black and one, I'll pass to Extract the Truth. How many cards do you have? In hand? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You have four? Mm -hmm. I will uh, choose you to reveal your hand. Uh, I may choose a creature, enchantment, or planeswalker. You discard that card. Um, well, that doesn't have split second or anything? Nope. All right, well, that is on the stack. I will pay one. And in like tutor, <laughs> so you don't make me discard that. But there you go. All right. So, ooh, Athreos, and it's creature. So, either of those. An overwhelming splendor for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna choose Athreos. I'm gonna put in one with the multiverse on top of that. Right? So Athreos gets discarded. Yeah. And then, hey. Green for a caravan vigil. Uh, since the creature died this turn, I'm going to put that uh, card onto the battlefield. I'll fly over for two to your turn. Uh, to Joseph. A two to me? Yeah, um, so you have the most I life. do have the most. Yeah. So you have and you would have to pay due to attack me. That so. is also true. <laughs> mm -hmm. So but I will then pass. Uh, you did have two. Untap. Upkeep, surveil two. You know, one of them are. Oh that my goodness. Nice. That's, we're going to leave that there. So we're going to. Uh, draw for turn. A one with the multiverse. It has Miracle, reduced by four, so it costs four mana to play. Tap and four. <coughs> Casting a one with the multiverse. I may look at the top card of my library anytime. I may play uh, land cards and cast spells from the top of my library. Uh, once during each of my turns, I may cast a spell from my hand or the top of my library without paying its mana cost. Hmm. Hall of Heliod's Generosity is playing for turn. I am going to cast this from the top of my library. I'm going to cast an Extravagant Replication. Uh, this is like was like the chase card from this pre -con. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of another target non land permanent mm, you control. That's crazy. So I could copy my one with the multiverses or even my sphere of safety, um, which now I have three enchantments, so you'll have to pay three to attack me. Um, and then I will uh, pass the turn. This is not a, <laughs> a deck that attacks with its commander. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> Dang. Oh, and I'll look at the top card of my library. Cause I'm like... Dang, no land again, man. Really unfortunate. Couldn't have that problem last time. It's one, two, three. Three, play a Painter's Studio. <clears throat> when I unlock this door, exile the top two cards of my library. I may play them until the end nice of my next play. turn. So if you get some lands. Hey, hey, would you look at that? So I will play that flames. Um, this is just going to stay in exile, unfortunately. This is the oh, that's until the, the end of your next turn. So oh, you can still next play it next oh, turn. That's the that's the win. win. Oh, um, nice. Um, this, so, leave it exiled, please. Yes. Uh, I till my end of my next turn. I will then I have to pay to attack you. Three per creature. Three per creature. Mm. You don't have to attack. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna turn. Uh black, black. 
two, three, four. For Doom Weaver. Reach one eight spell bound or soul bound. I'm gonna soul bind it to uh, the crypt cast. Each creature has when this creature dies, draw cards equal to its power. Uh, black, black, and one for Carrion Locus, uh, targeting Jeremiah. Exiling um, your commander. When it enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a creature card, that player loses one life. So I'll target your commander and you lose a life. Or the, the Atrios. Or the, sorry, when I say, your commander, sorry. When I say you, sir, I'm going to pay to tap Hall of Heliod's generosity, put target enchantment card from my graveyard on top of my library. Your effect fizzles, my friend. <sighs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'll uh, fly over for two more to you the gonna pay? <laughs> <laughs> I was oh. like, uh, nope. Uh, so no, Joe. Take that back. Dang. Yeah. Rewind. It's like a little boomerang. Yeah, he's literally teleported himself. Yeah, that in there. Uh, yeah, I'll pass. All right, untap. Guess what I'm going to draw? <laughs> well, first, sur first surveil, I do want both of those to stay on top. So I will uh, draw an Athreos, Shroud, Shroud Veil, and I need a white and a black. White and a black casting. A bland. Um, oh, uh, sorry. Um, before that happens, I have an upkeep trigger. Um, my extravagant replication will make a copy of something. I'm going to make a copy of the one with the multiverse. So I can have two instances where I can cast something from the top of my library for free. And then yeah, I'll get that. Um, and this top card of my library is something that I definitely want to play. A Curse of Surveillance on Emicron. Um Enchant player at the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep. Any number of target players other than the player. Each draw card equal to the number of curses attached to that player. Um, and then I will look at the top card of my library. Uh, okay. Play a Shipwreck Marsh. Um, when it enters the battlefield, uh, tapped unless I control two or more other lands. Use my one with the multiverse to play a Nightmare Shepherd from my hand for free. Four for flying. Whenever another non-token creature I control dies, I may exile it. If I do, create a token that's a copy of that uh, creature, except it's a 1-1 one -one and it's Nightmare addition to its other types. Yes. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six enchantments. Oof. I have no cards in hand. <laughs> um, and I would like to go to my end step. On my end step, I will put a coin counter on something. I'm going to put it on my Nightmare Shepherd. Um, and uh, pass the turn. All right. Let's see. Oh. One, two. I will cast the central elevator. Um, when you unlock this door, search your library for a room card that I do not that, that does not have the same name as a room on the battlefield. Put it in my hand, Mitchell. I can still do this. One, two, I will play a ticket booth. When you unlock this door, it manifests red. So I look at the top two, put one of them down, and one of them into the graveyard. This is a manifest creature. I do have a token for that. Uh, if combat doesn't happen, I will pass turn. On your upkeep, uh, this is going to trigger. <clears throat> I do not like the top card of my library. So I'm going to tap for two. And I'm going to sack my myriad landscape to search for two lands while that trigger's still on the stack. And I'm going to get two planes cards. Joe, me and you are buddies, right? We, I think we can be. Uh, we're enchantment bros, yeah? We are enchantment bros. I'm like, we don't need these bugs all up in our business, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll be real. Bugs, and I'm kind of like hoping he can help me with some of the... You have some stuff that's a little too scary to make friends with. If you take the with, sphere of safety... There's, there's that is, no, I think, the biggest no one. Protection. The sphere um, of safety is the biggest one, yeah. And then so uh, uh, with this uh, on the stack still, um, well, net, it'll resolve. Joe, me and you, both draw a card. Oh, mm -hmm. I do appreciate yeah, that. Though. Get me one closer to another land. Wow, that's awesome. awesome. I can't give you a card. The curse is on. <laughs> that's how it oh, works. Yeah. <laughs> Was that it? That's yeah. That's it. Oh. Pay a green and one for mulch. Reveal the top four of my library, put all land cards, reveal this way into your hand, and the rest of my graveyard. One, two, three, four. So I put Mary Landscape into my hand. Yes, enchantment, artifact. So you probably have Delirium now. The enchantment, I have Delirium. Play this Mary Landscape for the land. I will attack with a uh, Joseph. With a. I will attack a Joseph. Uh, <laughs> two, one, uh, Death Touch. Uh, oh, sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, total. Uh, I'm 
post combat, the second end phase. Uh, two, four, we're going to use three of those to cast Toxic Deluge, uh, minusing seven life. All creatures get minus seven, minus seven. All creatures get minus seven, minus seven. Are you responding? No. No, I don't think I am. Um, so, so all the, these things are going to die. Does the minus get around the coin counter? Because it's not being destroyed or exiled. Uh, it says whenever creature control dies. So oh, so the, it dies. It oh, well, yeah, this one says uh, whenever it dies or it's put into exile. Um, okay. So, yeah, so when this dies, it'll come right back. When uh, Athreos dies, I'm going to have it, I'm going to exile the Athreos and have it come back as a 1 1 um, copy of itself. It's exiled anyway, so we'll just um, mark it that it's a, it's a little 1 1. Guy. Indestructible still. Uh, right? Indestructible still. Um, Omnatu will die as well, but I'm going to do the uh, same thing. Uh, have it enter as a copy of itself, um, but it's a 1 1. Mm. So, with that going off, uh, I will draw one, uh, two cards from the Crypt Guest dying paired with the uh, Doom Weaver. Doom Weaver? I bet you feel like a fool. I have my, my board is left intact. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, then I will pay the remaining black, green, one, two, and predator tax for the swarm weaver, and two flying death touch. <clears throat> uh, I will then pass. Okay. Any of you? I don't think so. I still have <laughs> my commander. Um, so I will. Well, let's see. First, I have this extravagant replication. I am going to make a copy of, should I still keep going on my one with the multiverse train here? Why not? An additional one with the multiverse, just for fun. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I will surveil two. I make this, I'm going to keep them like that. I will draw a card. It is a mirror made, um, so that means I can cast it for two blue. Um, when it enters a, a copy of any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield, I'm going to have it enter as a copy of my extravagant replication. Um, so now I can have my upkeep all get to make two copies of stuff. Um, I will look at the top card of my <laughs> library. Um, I haven't That's cast anything for free from my hand yet, which I have three instances of doing. So I will cast Zero the Enchanter from the top of my library. Look again. I will play a Archetype of Imagination from the top of my library. Oof. Um, so sorry, I didn't read Zero the Enchanter. Whenever it attacks, I may search my library for an enchantment card from matter value three or less, put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Archetype of Imagination has creatures I control have flying, and creatures my opponents control lose flying and can't gain flying. Let us look at the top card again. That is a very good card. I'm going to play it. <laughs> uh, Omnatu's Augury. Exile the top eight cards in my library. I may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield. Until in turn, for each non-land card type, I may cast the spells of uh, the type uh, among them exiled without paying their mana cost. Right, so top eight cards. Let's see what we did here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, okay. For enchantment, let's do it. Let's do shark tank. Um, so now, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, uh, I create an XX blue sharp creature token flying, where X is the its mana value. Artifact, let's do the Signet, which will create me a 2-2 sharp. I think I need more auras, so we're going to cast Heliod's Pilgrim. And all of these will remain exiled, unfortunately. Um, when this enters, I will search my library for a four card, reveal it, put it in my hand. I'm going to set up for another awesome turn, Paradox Haze. It's going to my hand. Enchant player at the beginning of enchanted player's first upkeep each turn. That player gets an additional upkeep step after this step. Dang. That's pretty good. Um, it's only three? Yeah. Oh, well, that's wild. Um, so I will pay one, two, three, and I will play it. So now on my upkeep, I will get an additional upkeep, which will be a lot of upkeep triggers um, to make lots of stuff. That is a non-creature spell, so I will make another shark. It's how much to attack? Um, Eight? Three there. So enchantments I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to attack me with one creature. Um, Easy. To add insult to injury, I will look at the top card of my library. Very good. And I, uh, for land fraternity, because I haven't played one yet, but you pop. My great <laughs> Mr. Delirium Boy over there. Um, my creatures have flying, so let's uh, do some swinging. Um, Joe, I'm afraid of your alternate win con, so we're going to swing for a four, five, six in the air at you. And there we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I shall pass the turn. I think I did enough there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I have missed a trigger. Half three, I was going to put a coin counter on something. Nightmare Shepherd. Swing. Buy us a little time to 
three. Two white, I will play. Restricted offense. When you unlock this door, destroy all creatures of power three or greater. Is it any of your creatures? Uh, this, one? this one, this one, and that one. Okay. Because these are one ones. And then you... Two. Nothing. Okay, so it didn't do it. All right. Um, so yeah, my shark will die as a token. Now so just lose a coin. Um, this will die. I'll have it come back um, as a token of itself. It's a 1-1. One, one. Um, this will die. It's got a coin counter on it, so it'll come back. Faster. Right. On your upkeep, uh, Joe, what's a uh, bulk chalk card? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at the top card of my library here. Good, good, good. Play this one for the land. Uh, pay two, crack me, landscape. Then I'll pay black, black, one, two, three, four, wolf. Okay. I'm gonna do it as zero cost to draw a card. No, I'll show first. And then, losing all life. Clear card. Dang it. Play this haunted mine. Tapped. I will just pass. I'll get my blockers. Okay. Um, untap, but the upkeep trigger is going to end here. Um, so I've got several. Uh, I am going to get an extra upkeep after this. I have these two things that are going to make token copies of stuff. I am going to make a token copy of Curse of Surveillance, enchanting Joseph, oh, I think, um, and a, a copy of Paradox Haze, enchanting. Um, you there, Sky. So you also get an extra upkeep. Um, nope. And then I will surveil too. Uh, so binning both work. of those. On my second upkeep, I will make another Paradox Haze, uh, nice. enchanting onto Joe. Nice. Um, and then I will make a another copy of Curse of Surveillance, still on you, Ooh. Sky. That's a trip. <laughs> um, yes. A lot to keep, tra lot to keep track of. <laughs> yeah, so we've got. Uh, well, that's me. I want to draw more cards. Um, and then I will surveil two again. Bin both of those. Draw for turn. It is an enchantment. Demon of the Fates design. Let's go ahead and miracle that bad boy out here. Uh, flying Trample. It's the one where I can pay life rather than uh, cast the enchantment from my hand. Uh, I will look at the top card of my library. It is a land. I will play it for turn. Okay. You still have no cards in hand? I have a single card. Now. Okay. I will look at this card. It is land. So I am going to tap this for a blue and sack it to draw a card. Top again. Um, I will cast this from the top of my library, um, which is the second thing I've done because I played a land and I'm casting a spell, so I have one more instance. Diabolic Vision, look at the top five cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on, uh, on the top of your library in any order. So top five, one, two, three, four, five. But you'll be drawing on Joe's next Yeah, but and he gets to pick like whichever one costs the most technically yeah. and play it for free. He yeah. has one more instance of that. Mm -hmm. This one in my hand, and then I'll put these back in that order. Um, and I will cast this card from the top of my library, Curse of Fool's Wisdom. Uh, whenever Enchanted Player draws a card, they lose two life and uh, I gain two life. We're going to be putting this on you. Okay. Well, I didn't have the second most life. Yes, we'll put it on you. Um, Awesome. Then we're going to pay one, and we are going to Curse of Silence on you, Joe. Um, uh, mm. I say a card name, and that spell costs two more for you to cast. I'm going to name your commander. All right. Here to Vendrell. Mm. Um, and then I will go to Combat and swing everything that I can. That's a cool card. Actually, I commander, that's made really some sharks on my turn. Oh, yes. Sir. I made a 2-2, 6-6, uh, six, six, a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to do swing. Forget it. Forget the swing. The only thing I'm going to swing with is the zero, because he has an attack trigger. Um, so I'm going to swing that at Joe, just because on attack I will um, look for something that's going to be across three. How much is it? Uh, just for one. Since these are like the only curses I have left, we'll do a Curse of Inertia onto your Pass the turn. Untap. Yeah, untap. On your upkeep, um, one, oh, so you have um, an additional upkeep. You've got three curses on you. Sky, me and you are both going to draw three cards. 
Um, you are gonna lose two life for every card you draw, so that's six. I will gain six. Um, and then additional upkeep, same thing. Um, we're both gonna draw three cards. And you're gonna lose six. Gain six. Um, all right, go ahead, Joe. <laughs> Draw. Get me in <laughs> Woo! Got a land under tap. I'll do this. One, two, three, four. Um, it is an enchantment, so with X in its cost. So um, X will be paid for with the cloud key one. X is two with Master of Keys, so it enters with two counters on it. Mill twice X cards, so I'll mill four. Each enchantment card in my graveyard has escape. The escape cost is its mana cost plus X out for you. Um, mill four, it's going to be a stock researcher, a murky sewer, optimistic scavenger, and keys to the house. Question. That is it. You got some upkeep triggers too, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah. What's up, triggers? All right. Upkeep. Um, Joe, me and you are going to each draw uh, six cards on the first upkeep. Um, second upkeep, we are each going to draw six cards. <laughs> I didn't get this on now. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have he would have died just now. Rude. <laughs> Was that it? Uh, that that yep. Those are a few triggers. Oof. And me, so if I don't take cards. care of some stuff, uh, then I will die on Joe's upkeep. Three, three, two, three, four, for a uh, sweet gem recluse. Has to be. Is it? Or sweet an arcade, gum. Or sweet gum. For an arcade segment, so this guy has three counters. While you're thinking, I'm gonna uh, basic land cycle this Ash Barons. Nice. I will tap the arcade segment for a green and one, two, bestow this uh, Spring Heart. Uh, and then go. Uh, this creature gets plus one, plus one. And then whenever it has a, it has a landfall trigger, which will be triggering. Uh, Right now, with the castle Garrick Ring. Uh, when that enters the battlefield, it enters on tap because I'm forced. Uh, but when that enters, I can pay grain and a one, which I will. Um, doing so will make a copy of it. Soul bonding to this sweet gum recluse. Can I chamber the Now, the only thing I can do is. Um, Black, one, two, and three to sight in mind. Uh, each opponent discards a card. I draw a card for each card discarded. I will so, discard a peculiar lighthouse. I'll draw two cards. Discard as well. Can you, <laughs> can you off yourself and not give them the satisfaction? <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. I forget to activate Planeswalker. Oh, um, I did not do that. So. I will do the zero. Losing three life. Drawing a card. Uh, then I'm going to attack Joe with <laughs> everything. Uh, hey, me, bro. <laughs> What's your biggest thing? It is. I got a, a five five flying, dude. Biggest is two. So I will block and kill that, dude. Uh, do you want the. Uh, that's with the yeah, aura? Get or that thing, the thing with the aura. Kill it, dude. Okay. And then. Oh, did it have death touch? Um, no. Okay, uh, so how I much do, do I take? So, because two, three, four. So it's just four damage? Yeah, just four damage. Okay. Um, and then I had one cre uh, creature die, so I create a 2-1 spider with mix. No, I don't pass. Okay, upkeep, make a copy of the Curse of Fool's Wisdom onto Joe. Then I will make a copy of... Let's do it. Let's do another one. Another one. Um, and then I will get uh, a survey too. So that's four damage per Been on both. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will copy two. So uh, I'm going to die on my upkeep. I'm also going to die on your upkeep. I'm going to make. <laughs> right? Well, if I take the four yeah, damage make, per card, I'm going to make. He's going to make. Yeah, I'm just going to make two more. Put them on you. Eight per survey card. I draw. Two. How many cards are you going to draw in your turn? That. Right there. Yeah. So. Um, okay. Then I will draw a card. Yeah, there's no way I have Look it. at the top. 
Even with my win con on the field. Because of this, if I can get two doors unlocked and get hit an upkeep, I win. I just... The, no, if, I, no if I die before you, then you won't die because I won't have any No, but my life will be so low by that point because even drawing for turn, I'm going to lose eight. I'm going to tap two, open the armory, search my library for aura. Um, I'm going to grab a Curse of Thirst, play for free on Joe, so he'll take da a damage equal to the number of curses he has on him. Um, my other two free spells, I'll just put two curses on you. And uh, I'll pass the turn. Oh. So we'll both die then, right? <laughs> on my upkeep? So on your upkeep, curses do you have? <laughs> on your upkeep, uh, Sky is going to draw yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine okay. cards yep. twice. Yep. Die. Yep. Uh, you will also lose nine life, Joe, because of the um, Curse of Thirst. Are you also going to draw those nine cards? Yes. Do you have um, to? Uh, no. It's I choose not to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was um, going to say, you might deck yourself, man. Because right? that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you'll take nine from this, nine from it again. You'll be at two. And then when you draw, you'll lose eight. Mm -hmm. GG's. There <laughs> nice. we go. Oh my goodness, what a game. I really got to play this in a four-player pod to see if it can compete. Let me know what you guys thought of each of our decks in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with a friend. See you next time, Magic Players. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.